Okay, to create Koha SQL reports, we need to open our Koha system. Alternatively, we can use Koha demo site. So Koha demo and Koha demo is just for practice purpose. So you can see the Koha demo and the very first link is about Koha demo site and let us open this and there you can find the different demo system. So let me open this one, the very first in a new tab and you can see this is 20.11 that is latest version of Koha it's using mark 21 so we need to log in with the uh, given login ID so let me log in here demo and demo okay so there you can see this is the staff interface and we just need to open the reports module and there you can see the guided reports we will discuss the guided report in the next video and how we can create a guided report in the next video it's in six steps and i'll tell you all six steps in detail and this video is about to create from sql so let us open this create from sql so we are going to discuss how we can create a Koha report from the SQL. So there you can see, there you need to write the report name, for example, accession register. And then you need to write the notes about the accession register to memorize the function or the purpose of that uh, particular accession register. And here, in SQL box, we need to add the SQL code or SQL statement here. So, but the question is from where we can get the SQL codes. So here we have two useful resources for where, where you can get the SQL code. This is Koha report library and Koha database schema. So let me open Koha report library first and then we will talk about the database schema so there you can see this is a wiki library and the koha user around the world has created different uh, sql codes and they have shared on this website so you can use according to your requirement and it's available for the patterns available for the circulation it's available for the catalog it's available for each and every operation and functions of koha so the thing you need to find out the required code and of course the required report for example i'm looking for accession register here we are so there you can see accession registers sorted by barcode numbers and accession registered updated accession registered sorted by barcode number so let me open this link and there you can see the sql code let me bigger this size so you can see easily so there we have so this sql code is uh, the title of this is uh, updated accession registered sorted by barcode number reports and the developer is Atau Rahman, his email address available, the purpose of this report and one what date it has updated. So let me select this SQL code first from the box and copy here and then I need to paste in the SQL box. And there you can write the purpose, it's not uh, mandatory or required field so it's optional but you can add some purpose like this and we need to save report and that's all we have created one report for koha that's actually accession report so we can have the accession register when we run this report so there you need to provide the library. So let me add my library here, run the report here. And now you can see the accession register here. 
so it has the biblio number it has the barcode number it has accession number call number isbn author other author corporate author title edition year place place of i mean sorry place of publication publisher physical description and subject so you can download this report from the download option and there you will find three option one is csv file the second is text file and the last is spare sheet file so we use a spare sheet the excel sheet and we can download this so it has downloaded here and also you can edit this you can duplicate this and you can create new sql report you can create as many as you want from the koha sql library so let us create one more so okay new sql report and uh, item like here okay item added in a date range or new item or whatever you want to add here <clears throat> so there we need to provide sql code and let me see this report is here because i have added this you can find out so there we are so you just need to just need to copy this and you need to paste here and it's all done now save the report and run the report there we need to provide the date in the given format so let me write the 2021 and uh, the year i mean the month that is march and from 1st march today 2021 March and today is 6 okay so run the report okay so there is no new item added here so if they added they will provide in the date accession barcode number item call number author title and publish report so this report is also working and similar i have selected few important reports at my uh, in my collection so you can have this if you need so you can leave your email address in the comments of this video and i'll send you all these script which i have actually selected from the koha sql library so okay from this library okay let us see the sql library in in a in a way so it has another page so you can see there we have some reports uh for patterns and you will find the patterns report separately on a new page and there you can find the list of active patterns list of defaulters and so many and uh, reports about circulation for example daily check-in check-out or the renewal or the fine collection or the holds report the holds reports are also available here in this tab 
so you can find more about the whole report okay so so move on i have selected few reports from the sql library so you can see this updated accession registered sorted by barcode number and the developer name and this is also a good report and record with item counts that's mean uh, the record has no item and who developed this i have written the name and this is also a report so list of new item added in a date range okay this is a similar thing but it has a library as well list of new item added in a date range and library so you can find out according to your library all number what was that call number shelf list so you can find out the call number shelf list record without item this is the same thing that we have discussed uh, and the duplicate titles it's another important report find unused barcode range you can have this list of item mark lost missing and the list of patterns detail information of fine total fine paid date range patterns with most checkout you must know to reward them inactive borrowers all circulation transaction on date range with patterns and item detail so this is an important report for circulation date wise list of checkout books and patterns with the book due so this is a due i mean the default list some sort of date wise list of check in books okay so all these reports are quite important and you can add quickly in koha system for example let us add some okay okay let us add this all number shelf list let me copy this and we just need to open new report from sql need to add the sql code here and we need to write the report name so it's shelf list by column and run this report now you have a shelf list according to call number so we also call them the subject list so we have a subject list according to call number so anyhow anyways mm -hmm. you can have this list of a uh, new item added in a date and subject range so let me 
create new report because there's new no new item so it might be might not be work okay list of new item add it in uh, date and subject range okay. save this and all save reports you can find out in use save option see all our reports those we have created are available here and you can also see the update note here the reports seem obsolete so whatever the sql code we have added here it's obsolete so we need to update this sql and there we have an option to update this just click here and there we can update update so it has updated and now this report can work easily so if there's some obsolete sql code so you can update with the help of Koha. Okay, so another source or another resource is actually the Koha database scheme. Here we have. Uh, you must know how the Koha database schema work. So let me open this. I just want to show you. So there you can see you can view zero I mean this is what the tables columns all tables are available here so you can read more about them you need to use Koha manual so you can read it out so there we are how it's work completely a relational uh, ship database it's designed on different modules you know very well the sql sql it's quite easy to work anyhow so let's move on today we actually discussed this uh, koha sql library so we can easily design a report in Koha system through this SQL library and you can find out SQL library by writing Koha SQL library on the Google okay on your web browser you can write Koha SQL library and there you will find the SQL library and it's completely and easily available and all the required reports are available here so you can see old patterns report circulation reports and the reports about catalog or bibliographic reports and some notice and serial reports and lots more thing so that's all for today and thank you very much you're watching Raflims. this is Faru Hossain you can leave your email address in the comments of this video to have this uh, list of uh, uh, Koha SQL reports